There may be a time where you want to update the cost items in your catalog from changes that you've made to those items in a job budget. Well, you can do that individually by clicking on the three dots next to an individual cost item and then choosing Update the Cost Item in the Catalog. Now you're going to see a pop-up menu that will show you the differences between the details that are in the item in the catalog and the details on the item in your budget. So here we'll see that our differences are in the description, the unit cost, the unit price, and in the quantity. Now this is where you can specify which specific details for that cost item you would like to push over to your catalog. So here I'm going to choose to push my description and then maybe the cost of the design fee overall has increased so I'm going to choose to push over the cost and price as well. And then I can go ahead and update that. Great! Now I also have the option to do this in bulk to multiple items at once. So if I select multiple items or an entire group of items or just my entire budget, then this mass budget actions drawer pops out and then I can select the option to update the cost items in the catalog. Now I'll have that pop-up show that will show me all of the differences among each individual item. So this first item is currently not in the catalog, so I even have the option to copy this item to the catalog altogether. Then it'll move to the next item that I've selected and I can choose which details for this item I'd like to carry over. But in this case, maybe I don't need to change anything, so I'm just going to skip this item. Now I can choose for the next item what details would I like to carry over. Now one thing I want to point out here is you're going to see that the highlighted portion on this item indicates the difference in the detail for this particular line item. However, for the other items where you still see the checkbox but no highlight, it means that subs subsequent items in this menu do have changes in those areas. So I could just say I want to change the unit cost across the board for all the items that I've selected and then I could choose to hit update remaining and the unit cost for all of the selected items will be pushed over to the catalog. Let's go ahead and still do one by one. So I'm going to skip this one. Here you'll see the taxable status has changed so I can update that taxable status just for that one line item. So I'm going to click update. And now you'll see that I have other changes for the next one. So I can say, okay, yep, I want to update the unit cost, the formula, and the price for maybe this item and all the subsequent items in my selection. So I'll hit update remaining. Now all of those changes have been pushed over to your catalog. So this ability to select exactly which details you'd like to change in your catalog will make sure that you don't accidentally override any of your saved catalog information that you definitely want to maintain. We hope this update is helpful for you to keep your catalog updated. If you have any questions, just contact your customer success manager or you can email support at jobtread.com. Thanks.